Welcome to the Armani Talks podcast. I'm your host, Armani Talks. In this podcast, I'm helping you level up your five soft skills, public speaking, storytelling, social dynamics, emotional intelligence, and creativity. Five soft skills for you to change your life forever, skyrocket your confidence along the way. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about the accidental group thinker. We don't know everything, and it's impossible to know everything. Yet, one of the traits that a lot of lifelong learners have is that despite not being able to know everything, they still set that as the goal. Because think about it like this. Imagine that this lifelong learner has the mindset of, well, why even bother? I mean, I can never know everything because there's so much information out there. I mean, I might as well just play video games. That's not ambitious. That's not something that's a fun goal. So we take the time to learn as much as we possibly can. And throughout our journey to learning as much as we possibly can, as something begins to happen, every now and then, we are very ignorant on a field. And not only are we ignorant on the field, what we notice is that someone else claims to have a lot of knowledge on the field. Not only do they make this claim, they also have a lot of emotion behind their tone. They're very fed up. They say, okay, I understand that you don't know much about this field, but I do. And I will have you know. And then they lay out some sort of uh, argument that says that they know a lot. And due to their knowledge, their anger is justified. At this point, you're thinking, okay, I guess I don't know much about the field, uh, but this person does because this person is so fed up. You know what? I'm going to allow this person to be my teacher. And this person, I mean, you didn't vet them too much. It's as though their passion um, skewed your judgment. And now you're listening uh, to this person, this passionate person, this passionate person now begins to introduce you to other passionate people. They all echo the same sentiments. They're all fed up. And you know what's happening to you? You are slowly picking up their emotions as well. You too are getting fed up. Want to know what's happening right now? This is what I call the accidental groupthink. A lot of people don't wake up in the morning and say, you know what, today I'm going to be a group thinker. Instead, what often happens is that this person wakes up one morning and they are trying to learn, but unfortunately, they are ignorant on a certain field. And as they are ignorant on a certain field, there's a passionate person that comes their way and their passion overflows to a point where they seem competent. You want to be very wary about accidentally falling into groupthink, because every now and then, these passionate people will speak your language to a certain degree. They'll, every now and then, bring your experiences into the mix, where at one point, you'll think, oh wait, that's happened to me. And since this person said something that is relatable to me, uh, suddenly, this person seems trustworthy. One of the mindset that we need to learn in regards to lifelong learning, is that the word skepticism is not a bad thing. Uh, I believe the mindset of a lifelong learner is that you need open-minded skepticism. Sure, take in information, but every now and then assume that this person can also be wrong. And when you assume that, the likelihood of you being overwhelmed by someone else's passion reduces and you do not uh, fall victim to being the accidental group thinker. Group thinking is not a good use of your mind. Whenever there are herds being formed, critical thinking goes out the window. The lifelong learner needs to have critical thinking. And a great way to have critical thinking is by having the right philosophy. What is the right philosophy? There's plenty of different philosophies out there, but for the Armani Talks brand, we co-sign open-minded skepticism. Be open, but don't believe things so freaking quickly. 
If you want more practical insights like this into uh, learning and self-education, uh, be sure to check out my book, The Modern Day Polymath. Within this book, you will learn much more about uh, finding good information versus sloppy information, how to practice the information so it becomes real to your life, uh, deliberate practice, you'll learn more about that, uh, the beneficial use of timers and stopwatches, plus plenty of other topics to make you a genius in no time. Even though we cannot learn everything out there, you must still set that as the goal. So learn how to self-educate yourself by checking out the Modern Day Polymath in the link in the description box or go on ArmaniTalks.com and grab your copy today. Thank you very much for joining the Armani Talks podcast and I'll catch you next time.